I'm here with Brian Smith today, Toronto Area Manager for the Running Room, and he's going to outfit me with everything that a runner would need if they're starting out just uh, running in the, for the first time, or if you're an experienced runner, we're going to have a look at some gear, clothing, everything today. So, Brian, yes. if I'm trying to pick a shoe, I have no idea what I'm going for in terms of a running shoe. What would you recommend, especially for a novice runner, someone just starting out? Right, so the first thing that we want to do is actually take a look at your feet. Do a quick gait assessment to find out what's going on for you biomechanically, and then we take a look at the shoes. We'll watch you walk. We'll do a couple of um, static exercises like squats or lunges, just to see how flexible your feet are or how inflexible your feet are. And then after that, that'll determine what shoes that we look at on the wall. These shoes I'm wearing right now are old. They're about three years old, and I didn't run in them a lot until this year. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So I'll take these off, and maybe, or do you want to? measure me or look at me with any shoes. Actually, if you can take them off, that's the yep. most ideal. Yep, okay. For sure. One second. Let's hope I shave my legs today. <laughs> so now I'll get you to stand up on the bench there with your feet about hip width apart. And I want you to do uh, a squat for me. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a look at what your ankles, arches, and knees are doing. And your knees are staying pretty straight ahead. However, your feet like to turn out a little bit at the toes. Now, if you can turn to your left and put your left foot forward and do a, a lunge for me. Great, okay. And now turn to your right and do the right foot. Great, so this lets us see a little bit of your balancing on one foot and also how flexible that arch wants to be. I'm gonna get you to walk away from me. Yep, just walk down to that bench. So there's a little bit of twisting um, on your on the ball of your foot. Um, part of that's that you're wearing socks on a slippery floor. But the rest of it is that uh, your ankle does like to tilt in a little bit. Um, that's called pronation, and it does require a little bit of stability in your shoes. What would you recommend then? Yeah, so when we get over here, uh, there's a lot of labels on, on our shoes, but we look at, uh, for you, the, the shoes with blue labels um, represent the stability models. Well, that's great. Okay, that's the shoes. I think I, I think I'm gonna have to uh, take a look at my options later. <laughs>